Hey there, Springbox fans! Before we dive deep into this exciting news, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications so you don't miss any of our rugby content. Now, let's get right to it. Bongi Mbanambai, one of the stars of the team, has shared the strategy that South Africa has been using to face the hostile French crowd at the World Cup. Just imagine 80,000 people at the St. Denis Arena cheering for less blues. But don't worry, the Springboks aren't intimidated. And you know what's even cooler? They've been simulating all the noise in their practices to ensure it won't be a shock during Sunday's game. That's pretty clever, don't you think? They want to be prepared to face the chance and energy of the French fans while staying focused on the game. South Africa has been through hostile environments before, like in Marseille last year, and now they're ready to take on less blues in the World Cup quarterfinals. Mbanambai believes the intensity of this clash will be even greater than that in Marseille, and he's confident that, even as a minority in the stadium, they have an entire nation cheering for them. Before losing to France in 2018, the Springboks won seven consecutive matches against them. However, Mbanambai knows that the French team has evolved since then, and the atmosphere will be different. But they are ready for the challenge. He also mentioned the World Cup title they won in 2019, the pride of being champions, but recognized that rugby has changed, with players becoming stronger and fitter. Even with suggestions that South Africa may be too physical on the field, Manambai states they won't back down. They are known for their physical intensity, and they won't give that up. So, folks, what's your opinion on the Springboks preparation to face the French fans? Do you think this strategy will work? Comment below and share your expectations for Sunday's game. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and enable notifications for more rugby news. Let's go, Springboks!